Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leervog, and you are just in time for another Lego Bionicle Mock Showcase. Today we are looking at Onua Rebuilt. And as a quick refresher, for those of you who do not know about what the Total Rebuilt project is, I can refer to you to Takanuva, the first episode of the series, for a more in-depth look of the construction of the Toa body, of the Toa rebuilt, that since they all share similar body, similar top body and build philosophy. As a quick refresher for those who don't want to watch the video or have already seen it and just need a quick refresher, these are all Toa, the original Toa Mata, as well as Takanuva, uh, rebuilt using a mix of CCBS and classic barnacle technique pieces just kind of as a thing for me to do because i've been wanting to do this for a while give them proper articulation kind of kind of try to stay true to their original form but kind of updating their original form for a more modern day and also give them some nice little flip and flare that i feel kind of represents them fairly well today's episode we're looking at as i said earlier onua rebuilt and this one, this is the last of the Toa, as you could probably tell from watching these in order, this is the last one going up. Um, and, but this is the one that's also my favorite. This is also one of my favorites to build, primarily because of the chest piece that, piece that you see on his, on his front here. Um, once I figured out how to build that, everything else pretty much came together and I kind of got the idea of how I wanted him to be. Uh, which, in this case, is to be kind of like a short, stocky kind of Toa. He's supposed to be the Toa of Strength, and so, as the Toa of Strength, he should look strong, physically, you know, kind of look built and bulky. Um, but, that's kind of a little difficult to do with, that's kind of a little difficult to do with Bionicle pieces, because they're all built kind of the same. Uh, so I kind of try to go for and more kind of give him a shorter, Stockier appearance, give him similar to like that of a dwarf of a dwarf from Lord of the Rings, sort of thing, which would make sense because being the toe of Earth, he does dig a lot. That's what his claws are for, of course. And being in what we really mask of strength, it would make sense that you know dwarves are are known in D and D at least to be naturally strong. Uh, imagine in, in Tolkien's world, they're also naturally strong because, good lord, you have to be pretty strong to mine. So anyway, let's go ahead and look more in depth at Onua. Uh, so first off, let's go ahead and look at his weapon, his tools, his upgraded claws. These are very simple designs. I've actually used this design on a on another character of mine uh, from a long, long time ago. I don't even have the build the build for it anymore. It's an old like a, a Matoran of Light. Uh, from the Fantoka set, I just kind of upgraded. Um, this is a Hordika foot piece connected to a uh, claw piece from I think it was one of the Bar the Baraki, the to the Toamari bad guy, the Kings of the Sea, the Seven Kings, or whatever they're called. Um, I think that's where it came from originally. Uh, they're connected via this. Three axle with a with a stop, whatever it's called. Three axle with a stop and a regular black pin. Just kind of put it in there and kind of lock it in, all into place. The axle allows him to hold it in his hand and function as regular claws. I didn't. I didn't just want to use the standard claws. I wanted to give him some kind of upgraded look. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see, next we will go with the color. I went with black, obviously, for Onua, being he is, a, he is a black Toa. Silver to kind of help break up the all black appearance, and some pearl dark gray around the waist section. Um, primarily because that's where I could get it to work. Uh, that's where I could get the colors in the, in the specific pieces. Uh, it also, I also think it gives them a pretty good. Uh, look overall. 
Um, gives him his three colors that I tried with all my other Toas. Or try to break them up with like at least three different, the three varying colors, you know, in this case black, pearl dark gray, and silver. Um, on the back, he has a little non-functioning gear system. Um, his little short and his shoulder blades here are some half gears. They don't function, they wouldn't be able to function anyway. And on the front you can probably see a bit of a gear system here. While we're at it, we might as well go ahead and look at the armor, because if we took the armor off, he looks uh, pretty standard as far as I tell us go. He doesn't look really st strong and stout, but this, uh, this armor, as I say before, this armor is what brought everything together to, for me. Uh, so the original design of this armor was to kind of, kind of try to create some sort of like, uh, opening system where the pieces could open up and you would get like an energy blast or something like that. This wasn't for a new one originally. This was for uh, just kind of just something just something to do and just some kind of strict just kind of getting, getting me uh, trying to be creative. Um, I couldn't get it to work without making it look terrible. But then I just started kind of like messing around with it and looking at it like, oh, it looks good as it, as it is. It doesn't need to open up or have any kind of transformation function. Um, and I put it on the Onua and like I said, kind of built the figure around that. Gives him this kind of strong, stocky appearance. So yeah. Um, see anything else? Oh. <clears throat> Uh, gave him the, I believe these are the Vaki legs. These are used for the Vaki or uh, originally. Um, these are shorter leg pieces. Uh, these are about the same length as the Metru leg pieces, um, which puts them at the same height as Pohatu. Um, but to give him a little smaller, kind of bend his legs a little, give him, have him hunch down a little, kind of low to the ground sort of look. Uh, which makes him fairly small. And we'll actually use a middle tier Toa, Lewa, to add balance here. So, this is him in his standard pose. You can see he's quite a bit smaller. And even if we stick him straight, stand him straight up, uh, he's still a bit noticeably smaller than Lewa. Uh, let me see if I can actually, there we go. Like on the camera it looks like he's further back, but he's actually like right about as close back to back as you can get. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's, he's a bit smaller. Um, also updated, uh, said I'd update when I, when I had the chance, uh, fixed his wings. And as as always, I got the new wing, the new uh, blade, new blade came in the mail, and I found the old one, the one that fell off. Go figure. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, trying to think, of anything else I need to talk about? Um, oh, always look at his mask. His original black Picari. Uh, the mask of strength, and also black head with green eye stock, which I believe was the original color eye stock Onua had. Um, does create a bit of an unfortunate effect of making it really hard to see his eyes because the green, um, the green just kind of blends in with the black too, like a little too well. Uh, but I, like, in real life, it's a lot easier to see than it is on camera. And I like the way it looks. I, I always liked his green eyes. Uh, so yeah. Um, but that is Onua. So yeah. With that said, I'll see you guys later.